Asking for an investigation. How did they really land that deal? ABC's Chief White House Correspondent Jonathan Carl leading us off. The White House today firmly denied the federal government had anything to do with the controversial $300 million contract to restore Puerto Rico's electricity grid, a contract that went to a Montana company with just two employees with clear political ties to the Trump administration. Can you say definitively the fact that the primary, uh, one of the primary investors in this company was a major donor to the Trump campaign had nothing to do with the fact this contract was awarded? Right, the federal government, as I said, had nothing to do with this contract or the process. This was something uh, solely determined by the Puerto Rican government. The company, Whitefish Energy, is just two years old. Before this, its largest federal contract was just over $1 million, about one three hundred the size of the Puerto Rico deal. And we're getting ready to light up Puerto Rico. Questions were first raised about the connections between Whitefish and Interior Secretary Ryan Zinn who is also from Whitefish, Montana, population 7,200, and knows one of the company's owners. Zinke today denied he had any knowledge whatsoever of the contract. But Whitefish also has ties to Energy Secretary Rick Perry. We will continue to support the work to restore power in the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. The company's main financial backer, Dallas-based HBC Investments, was founded by Joe Colanetta. Colanetta and his wife donated more than $75,000 to support Perry's campaigns between 2008 and 2012. Colinetta and his wife also donated nearly $90,000 to support the Trump campaign and the RNC in 2016. The spokesperson for Whitefish and HBC Investments says political connections had no influence whatsoever on awarding the contract. The contract speaks for itself as the ability to get the work done. But the governor of Puerto Rico is not so sure. He has asked for a full review. Mm. If there is wrongdoing, uh, you know, uh, in this process or in any process, there will be hell to pay. So let's get to John Carlo, who is live from the White House tonight. And John, you've just received a response from Energy Secretary Rick Perry tonight. David, the response comes from Perry's spokesperson at the Department of Energy, who says the department, quote, was not involved in the selection of Whitefish for this contract. But the questions on this are piling up. In fact, I count at least eight different congressional committees now asking questions about this contract, David. John Carl leading us off on a Friday night.